And now it's 38 People's Favorite Podcast, The Customer's Always an Asshole. Reading your customer horror stories, here are your wine drinking buddies, Michelle and Melissa. Hi. Well, hello. Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> hey. You come here often? <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I don't know what possessed me to do this, but I started watching that cheer on Netflix. Oh, yeah. Is it good? I, I mean, it's not horrible, but I'm sure if cheer was something you were into, it would probably be like, you know, so much cooler. But um, they do work really hard. I'll give them that. They're very talented. Oh, but... is it like a documentary type, like real life? Yeah, it's like a docuseries. Oh, okay. Paused it and put on Sabrina the Teenage Witch. <laughs> <laughs> how old am i <laughs> is blues clues on uh clues clues jake used to call it clues clues clues, clues. <laughs> what are you drinking tonight well i know i asked you which should i do i started with you went against this. what i suggested well, no no no, no. Listen, <laughs> i i only started with it because the bottle had already been opened and i really oh, didn't want to well, waste it because it is Absolutely. it's still marca and I know it ain't fancy, but to me, it's fancy. So it's fancy. I uh, didn't want to waste it. So I started with that. And because the pizza I had has like a white sauce, it actually tasted really good. Mm. So uh, yeah, that's what I started with. And now I'm having wine. Oh, I heard it. <laughs> Do you hear that? Pop. Yeah. Yeah. That goes away. Mm-hmm. And the weasel goes pop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So these are still people being assholes in restaurants and fast foods. I have many categories, so we could probably record every week. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Um, So Kelly says, 15-year-old birthday party, 20 people, all rude. The birthday girl orders a virgin daiquiri. Okay, no problem. I bring it. She says she wants it in a margarita glass. I say, no, those are designated for alcoholic drinks. It is against policy to serve a minor drinks in an alcoholic, in an alcohol drink glass. I didn't know that. I didn't either. Makes sense though. Yeah. Her mom says she's just going to take a picture with her birthday drink. Uh, yeah, that's just what I or my restaurant needs is a 15 year old posing with what looks like an adult drink. Corporate would have my ass. They requested another server because I was quote unquote rude. Okay, another server takes the party, and I found out the mother orders a margarita and lets her 15-year-old take selfies holding it. What? Yeah. Would you have done that with your son? No, not absolutely not. No. I just don't understand, like, you're fighting for your kid to get this drink so she can take pictures, and then she's going to post it, obviously. Yeah, like, it's... It's one thing, like, when kids are really small, and I'm talking, like, toddler age, and they, like, yeah. grab an they empty got a beer. beer bottle, and, yeah. you know uh, what I mean? But, yeah. yeah. But it really, like, speaks volume as mm-hmm. to what kind of parent that is. Yeah, I would it say so. Says. I mean, I'm not it's a not parent, funny. but no. And it's <clears throat> it's kind of like that whole parents being people's friends or their kids' friends instead of their parent. Yeah. and That's, that's-, that's not good for our next generation. No, absolutely not. Not by any means. And to say that she was being rude because she wouldn't bring it, she's doing her job. Yeah. And and when it comes to alcohol and restaurants and whatnot, there's rules. And there's people aren't going to risk their business license or alcohol license because your stupid-ass daughter at 15 wants to take a fucking selfie with a cocktail. Yeah. Exactly. It's really not that big of a deal. Let me tell you, little girl, I've got many a pictures of me with cocktails in my hand, and it ain't a big deal. <laughs> it just isn't. You have the rest of your life to hold a cocktail uh-huh. and take a selfie. Yeah, you have the rest of your life to become an asshole with <laughs> cocktail selfies, okay? Well, with that, Mom, she might be an asshole already. I need more wine. Uh, yeah, no, I, have, I, in all honesty, actually find that really disgusting that a parent would would allow that and would fight so hard for it. And especially in like, what are you teaching that kid? Right. Speaking of underage children Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. asshole parents, 
Jennifer says, I lived in a town on the U.S. Canadian border, and we got ton, a ton of Canadians who would come down for the long weekends to shop. I worked at a restaurant that was attached to our shopping mall. I carded everyone who ordered alcohol because, well, laws. <laughs> I bring them hello. their drinks. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Governor, <laughs> I bring them their drinks, <laughs> take their orders, bring another round of drinks. Food comes. I go to the table to check on them. They order a third round of drinks. I bring them. A few minutes later, I see the mom thinking I'm not in the dining room, handing her kid the beer I just dropped off and rearrange the table in front of them to make it look like it's hers so I don't quote unquote notice. So I walk over the table and I ask to see the kid's ID. Mom says, he's old enough. I'm his mom. I can vouch for him. I say, no dice. If he's drinking, then I need an ID. Kid awkwardly tries to tell me he left it in their hotel, which wasn't the one attached to the mall. This is some amazing mall. It has uh-huh. restaurants and a hotel. <laughs> so she says, um, so then I kindly remind them that they're in the U.S. and they have to abide by our laws including the drinking age of being 21 and not 18 or 19 like it is in Canada. I didn't even know that. Oh, wow. I mean, I know like in like Europe there, it's younger, but I didn't know in Canada it was younger. I think it's Spain as long as you can reach the bar (laughs) (laughs) on your tippy toes, you can drink. (laughs) That's funny. So she says, uh, mom again tries to convince me her kid is 21. Very clearly not. The kid was wearing... (laughs) a grad hoodie with the grad year on it like (laughs) oh my god hello stupid ass (laughs) then the dad goes come on what's the worst that could happen to you anyway it's not that big of a deal she says right a possible find of a few thousand bucks me possibly losing my job and the restaurant losing its liquor license isn't a big deal at all my manager could tell something was going on I tell the table I have to let my boss know what happened so I leave pull her aside tell her what's going on and they were trying to be all sweet to her boss goes to the table tells everyone to finish their beer not allowed back blah 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 she got stiffed a tip and they made a fucking disaster of their table because apparently they were petty as fuck (laughs) <laughs> and that's a long one sorry but it's i was just like another fucking asshole parents yeah i i don't quite understand these parents wanting or allowing their kids okay hold on let let me back it up a little bit i it's one thing to do in your own home mm-hmm. when your child is i'm gonna that's say your past- prerogative Right. And past, past the age of 15. Now, growing up, I did have a really, one of my best friends, moms did allow us, like we would always go to her house and hang up, hang out because she did allow us to. She's cool, mom. She, well, well, that's what we thought. But now as a mom, it's not cool. And putting a restaurant owner at risk for things like that is just it's not okay it's rude it's not okay it's you know and you're teaching your child to be disrespectful very rules and there's just all kinds of things that are wrong with that again you assholes raising assholes pretty much that's what it comes down to if you want to do it in your own home that's your prerogative but Mm -hmm. don't put someone else their job on the line their restaurant their bar on the line for something stupid like that like your kid has so many years ahead of them where they can get fucked up and drink and take stupid pictures and whatever it may be you know what I mean? yeah it's what's just... what's the big deal about going to this restaurant and having them drink so bad like yeah you're out in public what do you want to like walk them around the mall and see what he does <laughs> Let's see what the drunk little asshole let's, does. Let's wind him up and let him go. When I worked at a restaurant that had the bar in it, if somebody had left drunk and was like driving and they got arrested or say they did something and caused something to happen with a fine, I think the restaurant would be liable because yeah. they served them alcohol. I don't know. It's just weird. People yeah. are assholes. Yeah, Maybe no. it's the same parents. 
our world is going to hell in a handbasket. Yes, definitely. Hashtag oh thanks the- social media. Yeah. Although please subscribe um, and follow Instagram. <laughs> If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's a creation tool that allows you to record and edit the podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcast, and many more. You can make money from your podcast woohoo, with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. So Jennifer says, one time I was serving these two ladies, probably in their late 50s, early 60s. I get them their menus, come back with their waters, and they order a couple of beers. I come back with the beers and one lady asks me exactly how many pieces come in an order of boneless buffalo wings. I tell her it varies because the servings are portioned out ahead of time by weight. She asks how many ounces. I tell her and she goes, well, you should be able to tell me how many are in an order. Tell her it varies. It could be anywhere between 10 to 15, maybe even 20, depending on the size of the pieces. She then tells me they need a minute. 10 minutes later, my manager pulls me aside and tells me she gave my table to someone else because the ladies didn't like my attitude. She asks me what I might have said to them to piss them off so much. And I told her it was all because I couldn't give her how many fucking boneless wings come in an order. It, I've never I, been I, like, like out have with no words for that. <clears throat> <laughs> I've never been out with like friends and anybody treat like a server like that. No, like I could imagine if you would have. God forbid you would have said something like, well, you should be able to tell. I'd be like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I would call you out on your shit. I would be like, Michelle, come it's, on. They're fucking Let's boneless. reel it in here. Yeah. Do you really need 20 buffalo wings? <laughs> I now like I buffalo it. wings anyway. <laughs> I get it. I get it when they have things like that and it says like you can order and like, you know, quantities of a six pack or a 12 pack or a 20 pack. I get that. But when it doesn't have that option, it means motherfucker, you're getting what we bring you period. <laughs> or Ain't say nobody like gonna... appetizer size. On right. Size. Like, can I share it? I just don't know why we live in a world full of fucking assholes. <laughs> I don't know. Like, why can't they just be, you know, here's, here's how you got to look at it, especially in a restaurant. You are being waited on. You're not having to cook your own meal. You're not having to clean up after yourself or the dishes or any of that Mm -hmm. other jazz. Mm -hmm. Eat whatever fucking buffalo wings they bring you (laughs) and be grateful. Yes. Period. Oh my God. It reminds me of the movie Waiting with Ryan Reynolds and Anna Ferris. I'm going to have to insert a clip because she goes, Okay, I don't mean to be a bitch, but the last four times we've come here, the food was awful. Well, uh, I apologize for the food the last few times, and we will certainly do our best to make sure that that doesn't happen again. Yeah, that's what the last waitress said. And it's like, <laughs> bitch, why don't you fucking keep coming back? <laughs> don't come Stay back, away. y'all. Uh, he's kind of like the main waiter, and this yeah. lady's bitching about her food, and then mm-hmm. he's like, let me handle this for you, and they like go yes. in the back, and all the different chefs like have a different specialty that they spit up or whatever it is. I haven't seen the whole movie, but I remember when we talked about it in the episode. And so I either searched for the movie or I found clips of it because that's the only part that I've seen of that movie. Yeah, that's exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And that lady was a total fucking twat. I wanted to kick her in her face. (laughs) A real see you next Tuesday. (laughs) Okay. I got another good uh, wing one for you. So Elisa or Elisa, Elisa. I'm going to I'm going to go with E L I S A. It's um Elisa. Okay. <laughs> I only know that because I have a friend Elisa and that's how her name is spelled. I thought you were going to say like oh, it's Bob. <laughs> <laughs> it's pronounced Bob. <laughs> okay. Elisa says, "I worked at a wing 
place and had a guy complain his vegetables were touching his wings because his <laughs> daughter vegetables with wings at a wing place. <laughs> it's probably <laughs> like one piece of uh, celery. You get wings in a beer. Like who gets wings <laughs> and vegetables? I don't know. Sorry, but I had to just ask that. But the reason question. he's upset is because his daughter was vegetarian and quote unquote, what did I expect her to eat? Sir, I'm not making decisions for your 19 year old. I just want to go home. <laughs> when, I t- <laughs> when I told him she could order a salad so she didn't have to eat off of her dad's plate like a child, <laughs> he was like, well, I don't want to spend money on King's place. She said, sir, please go home. Don't fucking take her there. (laughs) She said, sir, please go home and never leave your house again. (laughs) Wait, he said that? I like this chick. No, no, she said that. You know, she probably said it it, like in her head. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Meredith says, I was working during a street festival at a local fancy-ish sandwich place where you order and then go sit down. We were packed. I was behind the bar, not a functioning bar where you serve drinks, just a long counter with spots to eat. A couple in their 60s sat down, grabbed some menus. I say hello and went back to cleaning and the husband starts barking their order at me. I politely told them they'd have to order at the bar and then sit, but that I'd let them keep those seats. He just repeated his order at me. I told them I was sorry, but I didn't even have an order pad on me and that they'd have to order themselves. He threw the menu at my face, grabbed the wife's (gasps) hand and stormed out in front of other customers. I went good riddance. That's good. That's all you did was say good riddance? I would have jumped my happy ass over that bar and gotten... Scrappy doo! Can you believe that somebody would throw something at another person like that? I mean, sadly, I can, but it doesn't make it okay, and it, it's it's still shocking, but unbelievable. It, and it somebody it's, in their a couple in their sixties, <clears throat> you should yeah, be all he, peace and love, motherfuckers. Yeah, he probably should have been on meds, and oh, everybody should God. be on meds. I highly recommend it. Yeah. I'm waiting for my CBD oil to come. I'm very curious. Yeah, I'm it. interested to know more about that too. I'm really hoping it helps just as a as an additional. And for those of yeah. you uh, listening, I do suffer from horrible, horrible crippling anxiety. I do not wish upon anybody. No. And uh, if you ever need to talk about it, you're, you're suffering too, just uh, let me know. Be happy to talk it out. Email a whole stories at gmail.com. Please do. Text 702-551-2011. I think I got that right. Um of course, so. of course yeah. some other poor fuck is gonna get some texts about some random anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should check that number. <laughs> Here's a short one from Al. I don't know if I should say the whole name, but Al, like a like a man's name. Ali, but I'm wondering. Yeah, I wonder if it's Ali. Like that's how the full name. Is it, how is it? How does it look actually? Like A L um, space L E capital L E I G H. Well, maybe I mean his it's no had a wicked sense of humor and yes. just wanted to be like, let's see how these fuckers pronounce his name when he grows up. Is it Al <laughs> Lee or is it Ali? Well, in the My Favorite Murder Facebook groups, there's not a ton of men. So I assumed most of these came from women. So when I saw mm-hmm. Al, I was like, oh, a male. And then I was like, Al Lee. Oh, maybe it's female. And it's just a really cool body moving kind of name. Body moving. So <laughs> body is this. <laughs> is I this, swear is... to God, I saw her this weekend. <gasps> I body fucking moving? swear did, to God. I did you tell swear. her you want to be her BFF in case we ever go missing? <laughs> Yes. Don't send. I'm the not cops. fucking around. Send no body moving. <laughs> get me body moving in. What was it? John Green, John Smith, John something. John Green. Yeah, you get those. You get those two. Fuck yeah. the cops. You hire those two. I don't care what you have to pay. <laughs> They'll find us. Mm-hmm. They'll find everything. Mm-hmm. Surprised they haven't found Jimmy Hoffa yet. Yeah. So Ali or Al Lee, if you mm-hmm. are listening, if you could shoot us an email and let us know how we actually pronounce this. We really appreciate it. Let us know. 
Okay. Thank you. So Al says, I worked at a small luncheonette while in college. I went in to use the restroom and there was a turd on the floor. Oh my God. Oh the, my God. The owner confronted the man who did it and a fight almost broke out. The man wasn't allowed back. And the best part of the story is that one of the comments said, why was there a turd on the floor when the toilet was right there? <laughs> Do they like, have their dog? Do they have their dog in there? Like, <laughs> and if it's just one turd, that doesn't mean that means that you didn't have to go to the bathroom. It's not like you had explosive diarrhea and couldn't wait. <laughs> right. It's you one poop. Brought it in there. I don't know. See, it's this kind of shit that I'm like, I need more detail. But that's the shit. Shit. <laughs> that's the shit. Lit. Like intended. Lee. That makes you an asshole because if you were someone who like was sick or who knows has a you know something wrong with them and they literally couldn't get to the bathroom in time, I would feel bad for you and I wouldn't say that you're an asshole. It's not your fault. You did the best you could. But if it's one fucking turd, that means you're just a big ass turd and we're being an asshole and didn't get Maybe to the fucking it was toilet. Him. He shrunk down into that little turd. God, these people, these stories are making me want to drink more. I'm just going to let you know <laughs> that right now. Oh, good. That's what I'm here for. Fucking, he's just a turd. He's a big ass fucking turd. Huge turd. You know, I had to okay. tell a turd story. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ripping that bottle. <laughs> Put the straw on this fucker. This is Melissa. And this is Michelle. Thanks for listening. Send your asshole stories to aholestories at gmail.com. Text or leave a message at 702 551 2011. Standard rate supply. And don't forget, don't be an asshole. Bye.